Here are some clips from this week's deep dive episode of the Bestseller Experiment for Patreon subscribers. Hello and welcome to the Bestseller Experiment, a special deep dive episode that we record exclusively for our wonderful patrons and academates on the Bestseller Academy. And this is something uh, we've got tons of questions on. We've been asked for this time and time again. We're going to be talking about blog tours. Uh, and I'm delighted to welcome to the podcast Anne Cater of Random Things Peter. Book Blog Tours. Anne has been organising blog tours for over four years now. Has worked with major publishers and author, both for fiction and non-fiction. My own book, the Crow Folk was blessed by one of Anne's blog tours. Ten days of bloggers giving honest reviews of my book and getting the word out there, and it was a wonderful experience. Anne, welcome to the Bestseller Experiment. How are you today? Oh, thank you for asking me. I'm really well today, thank you. Yeah, how are you? I'm Tiggity Boo, thank you. Now, let's get into this. For the uninitiated, can you tell us what a book blog tour is? I certainly can. Yes, um, a book blog tour is when a book tours around different blogs. It's similar to when an author visits lots of bookstores, but it's all done virtually online. There's no getting on the bus or trying to find somewhere to park. They usually last um, between seven days and a fortnight usually, and the book will visit a different blog every day, and that blogger will either review the book or they will host a question and answer with the author, maybe share an extract from the book. And those bloggers share their posts all over social media. So it gets seen by a lot of people. Wonderful stuff. Now, we'll, we'll just jump straight into our listener questions because we've got all sorts here. We've got stuff from when you should do a tour, costs, genres, all sorts of good stuff. So stay listening, folks. Um, first question from Angela Nurse. Uh, how do these work if you're self-published? So, uh, you know, publishers organise these, uh, but you work with self-published authors as well. Is that correct? I work with lots of self-published authors and they work in exactly the same way. I treat all of my authors in the same way, regardless of how they're published or who they're published with. Obviously, a self-published author is going to have to pay for it themselves and will be responsible for getting the books to the bloggers. But other than that, it works in exactly the same way. Okay. And when you say getting the books to the bloggers, do all bloggers uh, insist on a paperback copy or will some uh, review uh, an ebook, or can they listen to an audio book? Do they, do they like to review in all formats? Yeah, bloggers. I've got bloggers who review in all formats. Some bloggers will only take print copies, but lots of them will take uh, e-copies, so a Moby copy, or maybe if the book's on NetGalley, they can get a NetGalley widget. PDF copies. Some will do audio books. We quite often do like an audio excerpt. Um, and, I, and I tailor the tours depending on what the author or publisher will offer. So an author may say to me, I'll send up to a maximum of 10 print copies and I'll tailor the tours to that. Wonderful stuff. Angela asks, uh, when would uh, you recommend doing a blog tour in relation to release date i mean ideally you'd want a blog tour to sort of uh either launch or, or peak around release date is that is that quite common yeah that's what we tend to do the you can help support the podcast subscribe today at bestsellerexperiment.com slash support that's bestsellerexperiment.com slash support thanks again <laughs> 